Well, despite the coronavirus concerns, spring break activities won't be interrupted at South Padre Island. Today, DPS will begin a heavy presence and patrol around the island for extra security measures. Yuri Gonzalez is in the newsroom with more. That's right, Gabby. DPS will begin patrolling the island starting today, March 13th, up until March 22nd, which is Texas week. They also want to remind the public that safety is priority. As spring break continues, DPS says it's a busy time of year. Cameron County ranked number three in alcohol-related arrests in 2019. Texas records show that 556 arrests were enforced. And although data shows no fatalities, as far as alcohol-related crashes, 192 were registered. That's according to data by DPS and Highway Safety Operations Center in Austin. Cameron County is an refusal county so what that means is that even though the public may seem to think that they can refuse a uh, breathalyzer test in this case uh, a law enforcement officer can apply for a search warrant and get that individual's blood christopher olivares says the message is clear no drinking and driving will be tolerated and consequences are more than just jail consequences associated to that are you lose your driver license your driver license gets suspended uh, depending what that individual's job may Involved. If it does involve using a driver license, I mean, they can possibly lose their job as well. Cameron County District Attorney Luis Science explains how they plan to bring those numbers down in 2020. As far as initiatives, is continue uh, visibility, continue presence. Uh, in, in the backdrop is spring break right now, and that's the biggest target that we have. He adds the law enforcement presence has grown and to expect more this weekend at the island as the Texas spring break kicks off starting today. Officers with TABC, the Texas Alcohol and Beverage Commission, will also be on the island to catch anyone consuming or selling alcohol to minors. Well, and I'm not surprised by the numbers because if you recall, Cameron County is the only county south of Laredo Corpus that is a no refusal county year round. So what that means is that because we've upped enforcement, obviously we're going to have more arrest and more prosecutions. So, uh, Texas Department of Public Safety suggests if you're traveling or heading out to the island this weekend, consider a designated driver or other methods of transportation. In the newsroom, Yuri Gonzalez, Channel 5 News this morning.